This video is to show you how to use the DSO 150. So after switching on, the first step you must do is switch this switch to ground and hold a voltage per division button in for three seconds to zero your your uh, ground or your zero volt line. So one two three okay then the second thing you do is press and hold seconds per division and trigger buttons both at the same time for three seconds to reset all the other settings to factory defaults one two three you can by Hold, pressing uh, and holding the OK button in for three seconds, you can display the measurements if it's not already there. One, oh, sorry, more than just like one second. Okay, now I'm going to connect a one volt peak to peak, uh, or two volts peak to peak, one volt amplitude sine wave in here, and going to switch that switch over to DC. So there we can see the the wave. I'm going to just zero the wave by pressing and holding this for three seconds. One, two, three. There we go. Um, so seconds per division. I have to tune this a bit down to sh show the waveform. Um, as you can see here, it, it shows max is 1 volts, minimum is minus 1 volts, and peak to peak is 2.1 volts, which is uh, pretty much accurate. The frequency is 10 kilohertz, which is the frequency of my uh, wave generator. So a couple of other things. Obviously, if you want to set the time per division, you can just press this time per division button and set it. Um, if you want to set the voltage scale, you press the voltage button and you can set it. Also, if you want to adjust the, the, the vertical position, you just press the volts per division button one more time. Then that little arrow there becomes blue and then you can set the, the level up and down. Now the arrow there, that's your trigger, trigger level. And to adjust that, you press trigger the first time you press trigger, you can set it between auto, normal, or single shot. And the second time you press trigger, that one becomes blue, and then I can adjust it. So to bring it down, I have to adjust it counterclockwise. Another thing you can also do is just press and hold trigger for three seconds, then it auto adjusts that arrow. But in this case, it's not necessary. There, my trigger is set. Um, I can also, if I press it, a trigger button one more time, I can specify trigger on a falling edge or a rising edge uh, by adjusting this knob. And um, the last thing I want to show is this is with. Uh, this is with IC coupling, I mean DC coupling, and now I'm going to switch it to AC coupling over there. Now for this signal, it won't make a difference because um, it, it's not, there's no DC offset. But switching it back to DC coupling, I'm going to connect a power supply now, just a normal DC power supply. That is set to 5 volts. So we can see there it, it says 5, 4.9 volts, but we don't see the signal. That's because it's out of scale. So I just need to press volts per division and tune it down a bit. There we can see. And I can press it one more time and just set it lower so we can actually see the, the voltage. Um, and it's 4.7 volts. Um, another thing... While I'm on here, if I, if I switch this to AC coupling now, that line falls to zero because with AC coupling, you remove the DC component completely. And as we can see, there's very little noise on this power supply. So that's the basics of using the DSO 150.